If you struggle to schedule meetings in people's busy diaries, this hack is for you. I want to introduce you to the scheduling poll. So let's say you would like to set up a meeting with Alan and Emily. You can set up a poll where they can vote on the best available time. So how do you do that? So open up a new window, draft your message, and then hit the button. After you're putting in Alan and Emily in the two box, you can then hit new scheduling poll. And from here, you're going to get the scheduling wizard, essentially. It will ask you for a time zone, how much time you want the meeting to, uh, to be for, and then it will give you options to select time. So I'm going to select 8 o'clock for today, and I'm going to go to tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. You can add a whole bunch of different times and dates. And what you'll notice next to that, it will show me who's available. So Daniel and Alan are available in that time. It knows that because I have access to Alan's calendar. And then if I look at the one next over there, Emily, Emily, I don't have access to her calendar. So it doesn't know if she's available or not. So we'll ask her. So I hit next. It will confirm the times I've selected. You can add a location and there's some other settings, but I'm going to leave those for now. Then I hit create poll. And then it will insert the poll into the body of the email. So let's fire that off. And before I look at Alan's mailbox, I want to show you my calendar. So what it's gone and done is it's actually gone and reserved the two times that I had, had given them to choose from in my calendar. So at least we won't have any double bookings. So let's pop over to Alan's calendar or Alan's email and he would have got an email which uh, which looks like this with a little vote button at the bottom. So he can click the vote button, it pops up with the scheduling poll and then he gets to choose. He shows him the dates and times that are selected which is 12 o'clock and uh, 9.30 on Saturday. It shows you the organizer and it also shows you how other people have voted. So here you can actually see Emily's already voted, which I did in the background. I've already voted and uh, she hasn't voted for this day, but she's voted for this. So I'm going to also say no to this day, yes to this day and click vote. So the best part about this is what happens next. So if we jump back into my email box, we would have seen Emily's first, her vote that came through. And then we will see the second vote that came through. And in a moment, we should also see the schedule, the email confirming the meeting. So the third email I received was, your poll has reached consensus, the meeting has been scheduled and an invite was sent to all attendees. So if we go and look in my calendar again, you can see the holds have been removed and what's left is the selected time and if I double click on it the invite has been created Alan and Emily have been sent it follow solid systems to keep updated with 365